Ecosim Building Designer uses a federated approach to the building model. This means you will create several different models, known as the working models. These will be referenced together to create a discipline model, and that will ultimately be referenced with other discipline models to create the final building model. And this is the model we will use to create the building views for the drawings. You should understand by now that this reference-based model allows multiple users to work in an environment where they are aware of the constantly changing project context, never in isolation. You have created several different working models, a structural frame, an exterior skin, and a core. You have been able to reference these together and model each of these parts of the building in the context of the rest of the model. So let's just take a look at a diagram of how we are going to do this. So far we have created four files, the S frame, the A exterior, the A core tip, and we reference that three times to an A core file to create the entire three-story vertical core. All these files are 3D design models. We will talk about drawing models and sheet models later. The next step is to create the A master fire, which will be an empty 3D design model and we will reference A exterior and A core to that file. Similarly, the structural engineers would create an S master file and reference any structural working models to that file. Finally, for the creation of drawings, we will create an A drawing composition file, which will be, again, an empty 3D design model, and we will reference not only the architectural master, but also the structural master, because we do want that information in our drawings as well. This might also include a mechanical master and an electrical master, depending on what you want to show in your architectural drawings. So let's walk through that process. So the first thing we're going to do here is create the architectural master model. So I'm simply going to use my new file icon. This is going to be a 3D design model, and I'm simply going to call it underscore A underscore master. I like to use the underscore in front because it'll sort that file to the top of the list. And then we'll open that file up. Now as I said, this file is simply an empty DGN file. We're going to come over to the Project Explorer, expand the building models, our design models, and we're going to find the files we need to reference in here. So the first being the exterior model that we created. I'm going to use an attachment method of coincident that'll bring it in coincident with no nesting. So we get simply the exterior skin model that we created. Next we need that vertical core file which we created. Again I'm going to go back to the Project Explorer and find the A core. Not the A core tip because that's only one floor we're going to bring in the A core file, which had all three cores. Again, I can drag and drop. This time I'm going to change my attachment method to recommended. This will actually nest those typical core files in so that we get all three cores. And at this point, that's all the architectural working models that we have, and that creates our architectural master file. Ultimately, we might do some, some floor layouts with some office layouts and so forth. That might be another working model which we would bring into this master model. But for now, this is what we have. Now we're going to go ahead and create the second master model that we need, which is the master model we use for creating drawings. I don't want to create architectural drawings from this file because I don't have my structural information in it. This is simply architectural information. So we'll create a second file. I'm going to just simply go File, New. And this one I'm going to call A Underbar. Or Underbar, A Underbar Drawing composition. This again is a master model, but it's the master model we're going to use for creating architectural drawings. Each discipline would have their own master model for creating their discipline specific drawings. And we'll save that. And once again we have an empty 3D design model which we will reference our other models into. So again I'm going to open up the Project Explorer and I'm going to find the A master that we just set up. I'm going to drag and drop it, use the attachment method of recommended, 
and there we have the architectural master model with all its nested references. But when I create architectural floor plans and sections, I don't just want the architectural information, I also want to see my columns and my slabs, some of the structural information. So I want to get that model referenced in as well. So I'm going to simply come here and select the S-frame model, and again, attach that. And if I had a mechanical model or an electrical model and I wish to see that information on my architectural drawings, I would reference those models in as well. But right now we have the, the files set up here and we're ready to start creating building views and drawings and sheets.